That's stuck in your head now. You're welcome. Hey, hey guys, it's your boy DJ Hardlock here coming at you with another episode of Survival Minecraft, episode 44. And we still don't have up to find, although it has been updated. Um, up to fabric has not, which is also something that I need. But in other news, or well, it's in, since the last episode, really, um, that one kind of blew up. And uh, I now have over 100 subscribers, which is awesome. So to all the new guys, hey, hey, guys. And in today's episode, I was going to do my um, giant uh, walk through aquarium. And then I got to thinking that the materials for it are kind of boring on the edges because it was just all this. So I'm currently reworking all of this in the creative world that I have. And so I will not be doing this today. But what I will be doing is gathering all the fish for it. And I think what I'm going to do is just put one fish in here for every subscriber that I have. So each one of you, oops, oops, each one of you will have your own fish. And then that got me to thinking. I need a name for you guys, but I can't think of anything. I think I'll sit on it for a moment. Nope, that didn't help. Well, if you guys have any ideas, then... You're my guys. It's been right in front of me this whole time. Hey, hey, guys. Cool. So, I think first thing I need to do is get a whole lot of buckets, like uh, about 105 of them. Okay, wow, that is a lot of buckets. Before I get started on that, I want to quickly just show you how the door works, because I got that installed and I got the, the uh, name of the building installed. Logic Gates. It only seems fair that I should show you down here as well. You'd think I'd have a little less lag being the only person online, but oh well. That's the door. Let's get started. Okay, I now have 105 fish all renamed so that oops, I can fill up the aquarium eventually with all the fish and none of them will affect the mob cap because that would be kind of ridiculous. But also, I have one level left, so I'm going to do something kind of silly. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do anything silly because I don't have enough levels. With that said, I'm going to go into my creative world actually and build on my base. So this isn't going to be a fully survival world technically. Welcome new player. It's not going to be a fully survival world or episode because I am going to be going to the creative world and working on something that I've kind of had in mind for a while and will kind of improve my general world building abilities, I guess. Those clouds look... Oh, those aren't the clouds. I thought those were clouds. Anyways, let's hop over there. Okay, and here we are. And this is where I'm going to be working on it. But also, here's what it is for reference. The problem is I only have 47 blocks of vertical height at the most. And... The image definitely would be more than 47 blocks tall, but I really liked the bridge and the walkway underneath. So I kind of want to go with that aesthetic. And I think I want it to just be like this from like kind of here all the way down. And I was thinking maybe this would be the entry point. But I don't know. I think maybe it'd work better if it were more down here somewhere maybe I don't I don't know man 
this is going to be tricky because, like I said, I really like the bridge and the walk in the walkway underneath and, and the mountains. But there's not a lot of height. I could do it over here. I could have done it here. It just wouldn't have been very wide. And it would have taken up a lot of space, which would have filled a lot of space, but also I kind of want to utilize the space as well as I can. And I just don't see what else I could actually build over here. I suppose I could build it here. It would give me more space. Indeed. Hmm. How much space would this give me? I'll start there. Okay, I could go up to there, I'd say. So that's one, two, three, four, five, fifty. Really? That's only three blocks more than over here? I mean, it's a consistent fifty all the way across, so I have that going for me. How wide would it be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty-six. Okay. I think... I think maybe I will put it here. Because then I can... Uh, yeah, I guess it would kind of make this point... This part... A little pointless. Okay, so I think I will put it here. Okay, so let's get designing. I think first things first, I need to get my border set up so I can at least know where I'll be building. Ooh, ooh, okay, that could make good use of that. So I had, I've had this here since pretty much I built this part just because I wanted it to be something. This could come up to like a cliff right here. Ooh, yeah, okay. That looks sick, which means having the wall, it can come down to right around here, I think. Okay, so it's going to kind of go like that. So it's been a few hours for me, no time for you. And now we have this really massive, what appears to be a chunk error, but I assure you it's not. It's four different world schematics that I had to find and then mush all together to make this, which I apparently just flew through. How did I miss the whole thing? Ah, yes, okay, to make this. So this main area here is what's gonna be filling that spot. And just to show you what that'll look like, it'll look kind of like this. Originally I had this position, so it covered that. But then it was, it had a whole lot, I mean, it still has quite a bit of empty space, but it had a whole lot of empty space back here that could have been filled. So I pushed the room forward and the nature is now further back relative to the room, which means this is no longer covered up as well as some of this. And I can just, you know, kind of cover that up as I please. But most importantly, I need to figure out what to do with this, which means I should do that. Whoops. Okay. So that's in place. Turn that off. And now to figure out what's going on with here. So I think this just is the edge of this little, yes it is. I can start up and get rid of these trees. And I'll do some of this just in a, a bit of a chime time. It did it again, and I don't know why it always does this, except this time it did it really bad. I lost, uh, like, five plus hours of footage, but I did save six minutes, so you got to see me dig a hole. But anyways, here it is. As time goes on and when we eventually update to 1.20, I will add the cherry blossoms somewhere in here, probably, like, 
I'll probably replace this tree here and maybe add one over here. Actually, I'll probably replace this one with a cherry tree or something. I want a couple of the cherry blossom trees and maybe some other stuff. I don't know what else they're going to be adding in 1.20. I don't remember. But this is pretty much how I envisioned it. I have the, uh, the little land bridge here. It's going over a small pond instead of a pathway, but I think it looks nice this way. I do have a path leading down from in here, but the only way you'll actually be able to get in here is via nether portal because this is glass. I didn't want to um, have to figure out how to actually get up here because I'm kind of lazy that way. But there's a path over here that you can kind of go out and see the whole thing. Or there's a path over here that does lead down and I made sure that you can actually get back up. And it should be entirely spawn proof, I believe. But if it's not, then I guess I'll figure that out once I start building it eventually. Not anytime soon, because I don't have that much of a base yet, or at least not an interior, everything's still technically outside. But let's hop back over to the server. That's about all I had planned for today. As you can see over there, I have started working on, whoops. I have started working on the sides and top. And you also might have noticed that I don't have a, um, uh, ba -ba, a um, telescope in my hand. That's because we got up to find there's stuff in my head. Which also means that I have connected textures again, which is real nice because now, my museum looks all nice and clean and pretty. Mostly. I don't, I don't know why that's like that, but that looks good. I can actually see into there now. I'm sure that's just uh Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know why that's like that. Anyway, that's all I had time for today. If you had fun, consider leaving a like. And whoops, if you had a lot of fun, consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next one.